everyone, I'm outside the Higginshaw boarding school. Now, I think the architects were called Winder and Taylor. So I'll, uh, I'll let you know who they were and what other buildings they built in Oldham. But um, just the side over there, you've got the boys' entrance and the girls' entrance is on the other way around. Um, but yeah, this school was initially built for the people in the area. You look on that picture that I'm showing you, if you look down here at the end of the thing, you, uh, at the end of the school, you can actually see um, where all the houses used to be. They built, um, they put not built, they planted a load of trees now, aren't they? But uh, let's just get across because we're going to go and have a look at the date stones. Um, there's a couple of them. One of them is really well maintained, and then the other one is quite bad um, and worn so let's have a bit of a mooch round so you see some of these people here I've got the information on these people so this stone was laid by Samuel Smethurst member of the Oldham School Board October the 12th 1895 and there's another one up here that I want to show you I love this building, I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Might be on the other side of the wall actually, the other stone, I think it is. I think the last time, I think the last, I don't know if it's in use this building at the moment. I know they've been trying to um, rent it out. I mean, apart from the exterior, I don't think there's many original features left on the inside from what I've told from people who have been, I've never been in. Um, Let's just go round and have a look. Oh look, someone's left the butter. Ooh, dirty gets. I tell you, it's a lovely day in Oldham today, so we're gonna go around a few sites. I'm here early, half past nine. Driven down, it was shocking this morning in Yorkshire. Literally, the whole of Yorkshire is covered. Look at that beautiful sign up there. Can you see it? Board school. Yeah, the, all Barnsley is covered with a thick fog. Now this James Middleton, I've got James Middleton in my book at home. Uh, I think he was... I think he was quite high up in the school but all of these people that have stones named after them. We've seen this one. This is worn a lot more because obviously it's took the brunt of the weather where the other one's sort of shaded, isn't it? To an extent. So yeah, there you have it, the boarding school. So we're going to go and look at where Central Baths was. So we're in, in Oldham now. You know, as I'm sure, obviously you know. Um, listen. Right everyone, so we're now stood in front of where the Oldham Central Baths used to stand. Now the Central Baths were an extremely impressive building. Um, apparently when you walked in, I never went in too young, but my mum used to go there every week, used to go for a bath. And um, apparently when you walked in there was a statue of Peel, founder of the place. Uh, he was uh, from Bury, and he also uh, was prime minister about two or three times over as well, from what I can, uh, from what I've seen. But yeah, Robert Peel, impressive character. But yeah, he has stood central baths. I've got it in my head that the older architects, um, 
did this. I can't remember the name off the top of my head. Taylor and Taylor and Summit. Taylor and I don't know why I can't remember the last name. Anyway, at the moment, well, as at present, you can see this uh, Positive Steps building is here, but this is where it stood. Now, apparently inside it had Turkish baths, proper Turkish baths, beautiful um, swimming pools, and it, my mum just said it was absolutely tremendous. If anybody remembers going in Central Baths, um, or you've got any pictures or anything, let me know. I'm going to see if I can find some interior pictures. I'm sure I've got some interior pictures somewhere. So if I've managed to find them, you'll be looking at them as well. Now stood at the site of the Oldham Lyceum. Lyceum was built in part by the Platt brothers who invested a great deal of money into building it. The Lyceum was built to, um, as you know, Oldham was a mill town and it was dependent on machinery, innovation etc etc so this school was actually founded to uh, basically educate um, young men in in the town how to build machines how to engineer how to be electricians etc etc um so that's what the lyceum was about now um, i did a recent video a while ago on a man called john dodd he was uh, he actually did the hollies you know the hollies that got flattened um, but he was also director of the Lyceum. Incidentally, he made his career at Platts as well. So this building here, um, one of the most beautiful buildings we've got left in Oldham. As you can see, um, they're letting it go because there's things growing out of the roof and all sorts. And if you can see the Prudential further down, I mean, that's pretty much done that now. It's full of pigeons. They'll have that down soon. Uh, but yeah, there was a little shop just here um, that I thought was quite interesting. And what I'm going to do, I can't do it today, um, but I'm going to go to a church service there in a couple of weeks so we can get inside and have a look at that. That's one of the oldest churches in Oldham standing. Right, I want to get the library for you and then I'm going to head to my auntie's and then we'll pick up the rest later. Can you hear them, Pete, ringing the bells? You know what? I'm going to film the library. I'm going to drive up to near the church at the car park at the back. I'm going to get a view of it anyway for you. And uh, we're going to listen to the bells for a bit. Sod it. Right, let's get to the uh, get to the, uh, the library. Right, Oldham Central Free Library. Uh, built by an architect called Thomas Mitchell. Uh, it's got a lot of scandal attached to it, the building of this library. Uh, a little, there was a particular... Um, guy in Oldham Council who uh, basically opposed the building of the library, didn't think that the simple folk of Oldham deserved somewhere where they could have access to literature. And that lady that stands on the top is named after him. For the life of me, I cannot bloody remember um, what she's called. Uh, it's Lady something. <laughs> um, but apparently she was put up there as a up yours to him um, when they actually built it. Apparently this building's now be, going to be turned into the new local interest centre. Um, but it's a beautiful building. If you want to know the story and you've not seen the story, if you look on my channel, it's called The Scandal at Oldham Library. I recommend you watch it because it's really, well, I think it's interesting. You might think it's a load of rubbish. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Right, I'm going to have a drive round to the car park near the church, see if we can catch the, the, the bells ringing. And... Uh, then I'm going to get about my business for today. You know, every time I come to the library, there's always something new that I haven't seen before. Have you seen that? It's either two dogs or a sheep. I think it's actually two dogs. Anyway, bloody church bells are ringing. Desperate to catch them. Fly back to my car now. And uh, look at that beautiful window there, that stained glass anyway let's get gone right everyone i'll come up to the bloody car park remember that when it was tracks years ago <laughs> um and they're not playing the bloody um the bells but listen while i'm here i wanted to tell you a quick tale which is relevant to the wall that you're looking at here now apparently many moons ago when I say many moons, it was fairly recent from what I can gather. I think it was probably 40s, 50s. 
might be, might be completely wrong on the time scale, but in any event, all of they're doing it. All of this um, ground, the church ground, you look at it now and it's all sort of, um, well, it's all landscaped, but there are people buried under the, in the ground, under the grass and um basically what happened and there was a lot of rain and other bits and pieces going on and this wall here gave way onto st mary's and literally there were bodies washed out onto the road and they were going all the way down st mary's way uh they had to uh scoop them up um and put them back but if you look at the wall you can you can some you can make out where it looks different but then that might just be the ravages of time who knows but yeah nice little tail there for you i like that they're doing the christmas carols with the bells that's really clever that i think anyway what we're going to do now i'm late for my aunties but while i'm here near st mary's i want to go up to the drill hall because uh, i want to show you the before and after at that and then i'm going to fire up shulver so i'll catch you there Right everybody, this is the drill hall on St Mary's. Served many purposes over the years. It was actually built by the same architects, uh, Taylor and Simister, who built Oldham, or did the extension on Oldham Town Hall. I think they did work on a fire station as well, but I might be completely lying there. If I'm lying, I'll put a correction in. But um, yeah, the, the drill hall served many purposes. When uh, there were blackouts in the early 70s because of the, the miners' strikes, People used to gather in here and have cups of tea and stuff. We must have had generators, I don't know. But the whole estate basically gathered uh, in here. Uh, it, is a, it, is a, it is a registered building, but it's been, um, as you can see, uh, just another building in Oldham that's just been left to rot, fall down. It's been set on fire. It's been vandalised. Um, I don't even know why this still stood but maybe they need to wait for it to rot a little bit more before they can get away with knocking it down i don't know but um in 1918 this is where all the men were deployed from for the manchester regiment uh to go and serve in the first world war and i suspect probably at the second world war as well um it's it's a beautiful building I, you know i mean i don't think there's any chance in hell they're going to be able to save it and to be perfectly honest with you i don't think they want to that they just want to put some more fire houses up but uh, I get annoyed when I look at it because I just think, you know, it's it's a gorgeous building. It could be repurposed for something. Uh, maybe turn it into flats. Do you know what I mean? I don't know. But um, anyway, that's the drill hall for you uh, with its castle type tops and gorgeous building. And that's the old power station. Many people want to know what that is. Some people think it's a fire station, but it's not. It's the power station. And years ago, it actually used to be uncovered i'll see if i can find a picture of it uncovered it wasn't always boxed in like that mm -hmm. 